Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. It's currently Monday midday, another week at home. <laughs> um, not watching the show obviously but I will take you along on my week. I'm actually going to show you a little Zara order in a minute that I did. Um, I was going to do a whole video but I only have like four items I think or five items so I'll just pop it in this vlog for you. Um, if I'm talking a little bit funny it's because I had my attachments put on my Invisalign on Friday. So if you can kind of see in there and here, got these like little lumpy bumpies on my teeth. They literally took like 10 minutes to put on, which was really handy. Um, everyone told me that that is when the pain starts to happen with your teeth, but mine haven't hurt. I don't know, I just don't think, they just haven't hurt. They're a little bit like the first day, like if I was to like do this, I could feel like a little bit sensitive. Not sensitive in a way of like hot and cold, sensitive like they were kind of like, they kind of felt like they felt like kind of pressured but yeah all good on this end so yeah that's how they look i don't think they're obvious at all um but if i'm lisping or um you hear some weird noises it's my braces so yeah let's do this little try on haul i'm waiting i was meant to film a video today but my parcels haven't arrived i've kind of got a freer afternoon i need my hair cut so bad like look how long these bits are it just doesn't look cute does it like <laughs> down to my neck never wanted to go to the hair salon and to get a facial and to get my lips topped up more than i have right now in my life <laughs> um okay let me get the zara order for you okay i have a little box here actually the first thing i got i'm wearing um i probably shouldn't be wearing it because i am probably going to send it back i'm not sure let me know what you guys think of it i'm kind of like trying to figure out how to style it but it's this cardigan these are not the right jeans um it's a little wrap cardigan so like you know the bit that goes through there but it's got the longest wrap let me put you somewhere else hold on look how long these straps are like that's ridiculous <laughs> so if i just pull my jeans down if i like wrap it like a normal ballerina kind of car cardigan you'd kind of want to tie it like this right please ignore these jeans they're so wrong um but if I was to tie it like this, I feel like there's a huge... Well, to be fair, that's actually not too bad. No, that looks horrible. Like, it just looks ridiculous, right? So then you want to wrap it around again. So... Like this. And this is how they styled it on the model, actually. So, like, they did kind of just do it in this, like, ridiculously um, large amount of wrapping. But, like, it just looks so odd. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send this one back. I don't like it, um, which is a shame because it's actually a really lovely color for spring summer. It's like this super kind of light nudie gray, and then it's a really nice kind of like um, knitted jumper. These are some shorts. They're called Bermuda shorts. They're very, very yellow. <laughs> Wait, I thought they were like white or like white cream, but I don't know how that's gonna show up, but they're like definitely like a kind of custard cream. Okay, these are a big fat fail. <laughs> okay, this actually is really handy for you to see, like, the colour difference between this colour and pure white. Like, they are very, very yellow. Or cream. Like, too yellow cream, you know. And also, I mean, they're just super unflattering. Like, the crotch is, like, all the way down here. If I pull them up any higher, like, they're, like, sitting on my rib cage. Um, yeah. Big fail. <laughs> and then I got these little trousers i'm going to send these back because i have tried them on they're too big and i just don't need them so these are faux leather trousers they have this beautiful kind of detailing at the top there so they're quite like smart which i like um straight leg a zip up the front some pockets like no hardware or anything which is nice yeah i think they're really really nice if you're looking for a pair of these trousers but the waist is just too big for me i'd need like i'd need them altered and for the sake of like what are they 27 pounds like I just I just rather send them back and get something actually I have another pair that arrived from Abercrombie and Fitch and I absolutely love them so yeah I definitely am sending these back I do not need them these are the trousers they're just that little bit too big you know like they're just they need like an inch off the waist um and therefore like I just don't think they're that flattering obviously you can't put a belt on with them so I don't know I just think they're a little bit pointless um but yeah I do recommend these trousers if you're looking for something like casual but also will work for smart as well 
and they're they're lovely they're just not the right fit for me so yeah i picked up this little top because i just think it's a handy piece to be honest it also came in nude and it came in a few other colors um but it's just this little knitted crop top which i thought was super cute again i'm thinking with like possibly in summer with like some high-waisted tailored like smart trousers and then like a blazer over my shoulders um or just kind of like with loungewear it was well 15 pounds um it's got like elastic in it you're not like i won't need a bra with this which is nice i actually really really like it i might get it in a different color as well because it's just like perfect kind of crop top easy summer even layering piece and as i said there's elastic in it so i'm not wearing a bra i mean i don't have the biggest boobs in the world but yeah i mean i feel completely fine like they're not gonna fall out they're not being lifted or anything but i don't mind that i like it okay, then i got this dress but it's covered in like i don't know if it's makeup or if it's no it looks like you know if um you rub your arm past like something that's rusty and then like the rust goes on your items like that's what it looks like i don't know so i need to send this one back but it's a really gorgeous green polka dot dress probably not hugely my style but i loved it and i'm seeing so many different ways to wear it so it's just kind of like very simple spaghetti straps you'll see it better on it's in this really lovely like silky lightweight soft material and it was 29.99 so i've actually already ordered another one because i could see they were going out of stock kind of quick and i also ordered it in two different sizes because this is size is this one small so i got it in an extra small as well just to see what one i liked best um but yeah i'm really happy with that the other two sizes just arrived and i tried on the extra small and i have the small on right now so i'm a little this extra small in i knew it'd be too small because i actually have quite wide ribs for my shape um so often if things don't have a zip or like buttons on the back then i have to go up a size i don't know if you can see kind of on the side there it's kind of like it's like gapey you know what i mean like it's a little bit i don't know does that look right it just looks like there's a a lot of the extra material there but the small extra small is i mean i can get it on but like it's just it's tight across my back and my ribs so yeah i definitely have to go for the small but i think it looks fine i love it from the front i think it's really gorgeous um it's got this kind of like flowed out skirty bit on the bottom it flows really nicely i love the color um and then the little boob detail here with the kind of like twisted um chest bit in terms of styling i'm thinking um so when it gets like a little bit warmer some chunky trainers hair in a low bun gold jewelry that kind of thing or like soon i'm gonna put like a have i got one up here no i was thinking like a black oversized knit and then make it kind of like a skirt and jumper which i think will look lovely and then maybe boots or trainers i'm not sure and then obviously in summer just like with some sandals i don't know the only thing is like I don't tend to wear straps like this too often because I feel like my shoulders are quite wide and I feel like it emphasizes them but hmm I'm not sure my shoulders look wide <laughs> I don't know maybe with my hair like this it's nicer anyway let me know what you guys think of it down below these are just tailored really really lovely trousers black button um like a smart crease down the front and I just thought they'd be perfect for spring summer they are beautiful i'm really really chuffed with these but yeah they're just super nice they're a little bit big again around my waist but zara trousers usually are but these ones 100 percent i'll just get stitched on because they are worth it like the hassle of that <laughs> but they also did these in a few other colors here are these trousers i wouldn't wear this well i would wear this jumper probably maybe not one with buttons like this but this color um but i did actually i'll put it on screen i started it up with like a darker jumper but yeah, these are the trousers. Look how nice these are. If these were in Reese, I'd probably pay like 200 for them happily. Um, they're just lovely. They've got a little kind of split there. And then the other trousers that I was talking about, the leather trousers. So I'm actually currently working with Abercrombie & Fitch, but this is nothing to do with that collaboration. This hair is really annoying me. Should I cut it myself or is that a terrible idea? <laughs> yes, I'm working with Abercrombie over on uh, Instagram. So part of the outfit that I chose for the collaboration was these trousers and they arrived and i literally was like oh my god like i'm obsessed with them and i bought a pair another pair a second pair to have like a spare pair because i actually just couldn't live without having these in my wardrobe <laughs> so now i have two pairs of these these ones i bought the other ones obviously were gifted because they're a collaboration um but when i went on to get a second pair they had sold out of my waist size so i had to go up a waist size so hopefully they'll still look as cute i think they will i hope they're going to be as nice um 
But yeah, I'll leave these down below because literally I just fell in love. Here is the Abercrombie trousers. Um, these do not fit at all as nice as the smaller size, but I mean, they're absolutely fine. They just, I need to belt these probably. Um, but yeah, I just, I love the shape of them. I just thought they were really cute for spring, summer. They're kind of like that perfect shape and length to be wearing with um, trainers or loafers. Probably wouldn't wear these with boots, but I just love them. They look like real leather. Let me try and show you. They're just a really, really lovely material. They're super soft. They do not smell like faux leather. You know how sometimes it smells a bit pongy. <laughs> they don't smell like that. And I've worn them with just like a jumper and some trainers and they just looked really sweet. So I'll link these down below. Okay guys, I'm keeping the card again because silly me forgot that I fake tan today and I have fake tan on the sleeves. <laughs> so I'm keeping this. I will make it work. I am determined. <laughs> Okay, a little update on that black top, the little cropped one. I just filmed a uh, time lapse. I think most of it was fine. So if you just saw it, like that's it's made it in. But I was um, halfway through it and I looked down and my boob was hanging out. So, <laughs> so maybe it's not that good at um, securing your boobs. Oh my god, to be quiet. However, um, I was up and down, up and down, folding clothes and like you know like putting lights away and stuff so when I wear it I don't intend to be like cleaning but yeah that's just something to know because my whole boob was just like hanging out of <laughs> um anyway now I need to go oh actually I've not got my Invisalign in because I'm drinking Diet Coke but let me just show you the attachments zoom in oh god it's ugly uh there's one and there's some on this tooth you see them so yeah, I mean, they're really not, they're really not obvious at all. Kind of feel like you've bit into like, like, kind of feels like you've bitten into something and then there's stuff all over your teeth. <laughs> but you get used to them and they, they don't rub or anything. So yeah, that's what they look like. Um, as I say, I'm having a Diet Coke, but I am drinking everything that's coloured, which isn't often, it's literally just Diet Coke, I think, through a straw. So that they don't stain the little attachments. I don't think they will stain, but yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Good morning, guys. So we're in a few days later um, than when I last spoke to you. So this week has ended up being very boring for you guys. So I didn't feel much. Um, but today I thought I could do kind of like a spend the day at work with me because I have quite a lot going on um, that I can show you. So yeah, I thought it could be fun. So we've got a Zara haul and a spend the day at work with in this video. <laughs> Currently I'm actually started work a little bit late this morning. It is 20 past 10. Normally I start about half past nine, ten, but today was a bit of a slow one. Um, and I have a webinar with Reward Style. You guys will know them as uh, like to know it. I have a webinar with them at 10.30. They host a few webinars, kind of just like um, informational ones about like trends and algorithms and all that kind of stuff so that's what this morning's one is about the instagram algorithm i think and growth I'm halfway through my hair it looks very blow-dried i did just blow dry it with the dyson air wrap but i'm gonna add some curls into the end because this is a little bit too kind of glam for me and too straight um and then yeah after that i'll get into work so that is the plan for today um yeah, so I'm gonna literally going. I'm not even dressed. I just shoved this on because I know I've got fake tan in my armpits. I'm gonna set up for this webinar now and then I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, so now I need to do some stories for an ad that I have going up. So I've half finished it, I've done like the main content. Um, I need to film half of the stories so i've just taken some pictures downstairs um to give them options i'm either going to do like picture stories or i'm going to do a little talk through this is a bag from senrev um it's so nice it's so beautiful it looks so expensive well it's kind of expensive it's just lovely quality and i love this color and um, they have really nice this is not sponsored by the way the ad on instagram is this is not this is um the vegan leather one though and they do have load this in like real leather but they didn't have the colour I wanted so I'm just reading through the brief which is what 
brands send us before we well my manager sends tell us kind of like what they're looking for anything they really want included in terms of like talking points and maybe like styles of imagery and things like that so i've actually already set off half of it which is approved which is great and now i just need to finalize this one story frame um so yeah i'm deciding whether i want to do just a picture like this as a different way of styling up because my actual picture for my grade is quite casual whereas this is quite a smart look if i do a little talk through on my stories about like how it looks and what you can fit in it and stuff so that's currently what, oops, what i'm doing i'm going to edit some of these pictures now okay so i'm going to start filming my stories so i have to set up my tripod with my phone there <laughs> kind of like frame it so i've already done a test run to make sure everything is in frame when i'm doing it so now i'm just going to film it okay, i'm swapping between two cameras at the minute because i have to use one for actually working and i'm going to use one for showing you how i'm doing it but i haven't filmed on this camera in so long and i actually miss it so much like the other one you have to like you can't look at yourself <laughs> whereas this one i can just hi like you guys don't know where i'm looking it's great um anyway cutaways if anyone who does youtube will probably agree that this is oh look at that fake tan this is the worst part of youtube it takes forever you have to make it look good you have to steam all the clothes which i often don't do <laughs> and um yeah so i'm gonna do that now so basically it's trying doing all the try on clips for all the clothes i have this my little setup so my two lights on my tripod i'm gonna put the lights on obviously I pop some music on and then this will be my background so i think i have well i have probably about 10 items to try on for this one then i need to film another video and do all the try ons for that um and then the rest of the day is just kind of like filming other stuff so yeah let's get the annoying part over with and then um i can enjoy work for the rest of the day from Marks and Spencer's and I thought I'd show you. I did put this up on Instagram, I think. Um, I went on there just to get like some basics and things, like just underwear and bras, and they had some really, really nice pieces. So not that I actually got anything that nice, like, but they did have nice pieces. <laughs> so I got this to start off with, just this like really simple half zip lounge jumper thing. Um, definitely not for like fashion, but I thought just for like dog walks and like just at home cozy, I thought it was cute and it was, only £25 and I got it in the UK 8. Yeah, I thought it was cute, just with like joggies, uh, leggings and things. I just got some basic tops. This is a pack of two. These were £15. Um, just two cotton tops, just like long sleeve. Again, super simple and basic. Really good for layering though. So I got a white one in that pack and I also got a black one in that pack. I picked up two thermal tops, so these were £12 each. Um, they're really soft, like really, really, really soft, that's nice. So this one is a cream, same kind of style as the other one, but a lot kind of like thinner and stretchier and softer, whereas this one's more like a traditional like cotton lounge top. So this one is cream, cream neck, that's a really good neck if you are, which I will be using them for layering, because a lot of my stuff doesn't always have high necks, so that's like quite a low neck you know so that's really good for layering and then I got that in exact same one in black and I just got some undies and things so I actually got these bras which just looked really comfortable um these were 14 pounds just a two pack of like little kind of crop top bras black one and a white one it's really simple should I have got a size up they're small I think they'll be fine um, then I got these bras, so funny, these were called like, <laughs> these were called like my first bra or like first bras, so I think they're for like children, but they had my size and they looked extremely comfortable, <laughs> so I got them, so I think this is my size, I haven't, I haven't measured in like years, picked up a 32C, I'm normally a 34B or a 32C I think, I think, 
I hope so. So this is just like the most simple black bra. There's like no, I mean there is padding, but it's like a, it's a cup, not padding. I think that's removable. Is it? Um, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, no underwiring either. And just very, very, very basic. I don't like that little bow in the middle. That does make it feel like childish. Let me see if this is gonna fit. Yeah, it's gonna fit. It's just gonna be like a really comfortable, like kind of t-shirt bra. So I got a pack of two, gray and black. And then I got a pack of thongs. These were like the no VPL, which means they're like super soft and comfortable. Let me show you. I have these already. I just wanted some more. Um, they're like really, really soft and like silky material, which is nice. And they just, they're just really simple, handy handy little thongs so <laughs> that was fun that was my little um mls order and now i was meant to film a video this afternoon but i just don't know if i can be bothered i'm just gonna go downstairs and get some lunch but i just wanted to put on my comfies because i'm making the executive decision that i'm not working i'm filming today i'm gonna just go and edit after i've had some lunch so here is the little bra it's really nice it's um it's like a lot thinner than, like it looks like a sports bra, right? But it's definitely not, like it's really thin. It's nice and supportive. Okay, and then here is the little jumper. It's really cute. I've just tucked it into my, into that little bra underneath there. Um, and then these joggies are from Reformation, I think. Yeah, Reformation, I'll leave them down below. Okay, so <laughs> it's currently Sunday afternoon. Um, this vlog failed and I'm literally, I say this every week, but I'm editing it back and like 99% of it is me sat in this lounge, but uh, this office. Yeah, I mean, there really isn't much happening at all in life right now. Um, So that's as good as it's gonna get. I actually have a really nice, oh, my makeup, have a really nice, um, well, I don't know what's in it, but I kind of do know what's in it. Package arrived from the Napco, who you guys know I absolutely, adore um so i'm going to show you what's in there because by the time this vlog is up tonight they have a new collection launching at 8 p.m it is their bridal collection i've seen some sneak peeks on their instagram and it looks absolutely amazing it's not just for brides obviously so i'm going to show you what's in there it has been a really boring one i have spent um i've kind of spent all morning actually no today i went out for a walk with my friend that was really nice i forgot um, and then I've just come back and I've spent the day like kind of tidying up and doing some random bits. Okay, what do we have in here? Nadia, this may be our new bridal collection, but this robe was made for you. I hope you love it. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, packaging is absolutely stunning. I actually got everyone, like all my girls, like my mum, my sister, my friends, everyone for Christmas. I got them all Napco stuff. I'm obsessed with the brand. So this is some new branding. Look at those colors. It's like satin stripy cream. Um, okay, and then I've got two boxes in here as well. I'm gonna do some Instagram stories really quick. So one second. Um, okay, let's jump in to the first thing. So their pajamas are super, super comfortable, like super silky, really, really soft, like the comfiest things to sleep in. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the little shirt, which is like classic of their style. Like a real traditional kind of like pajama shirt, but it's loose enough that it's comfortable when it's on. It's in a size small and then, oh my God, I'm so excited. They've brought out shorts. Oh, this is so cute. So normally they have long trousers um, and I've been waiting for them to bring out a pair of shorts, but oh my goodness, these are so cute. This is a robe. I'm obsessed with silky robes. I wear mine all the time and actually it's definitely time I got a new one. God, this is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and show you, but this is like a cropped robe, so it's not super long. The sleeves, look at them. Oh my god, so they're gonna be like drapey and beautiful, and then it comes with a little waist tie as well. And then I was so confused. Oh, she sent me both robes. So there's a short one and there's a long one, and this is the long one here. Oh my god, so beautiful. It really spoiled me. Oh, <laughs> This is so cute. Oh my God, literally she's adorable. She sent me personalized pillowcases, which I already have um, from her, but it's always great to have extras, but this has our initials embroidered. There's a J and then there's one 
with my initial. Also, I will say this about nap coat. The pillowcases are so good because they do up with a zip on the side. And honestly, like that doesn't seem like such a big deal, but when you have silky pillowcases, like I swear they just slip and slide off a pillow constantly. Um, but the nap are the only ones I've ever found that do actually have a zip, so your pillow stays inside. So here is the pajama set on. Obviously need a little bit of a steam, but look how cute these are. Oh my goodness. Super comfortable, like a nice elastic waistband around the waist as well. So look at that material. And then I've just tucked the little kind of top in to my shorts there. Okay, here is the longer robe on. Look at these sleeves. Oh my god, so beautiful. Um, and then also, like, this is really minute detail, but it's really important. On the inside, there is also a drawstring that, like, ties, like a hidden tie. So you don't have to worry about it, like, falling open. Um, and then, obviously, the bigger tie on the outside. I feel so bougie in this. I like, absolutely adore it. Okay, and then here is the shorter one. Again, with the same sleeves. Obviously, this one is shorter in length, which is probably what I would tend to wear, like, more. Um, kind of, like, if I'm getting ready to go out for dinner or if I'm after my shower. But um, yeah, this is so gorgeous. And I love that, as she said, like it is bridal, but it's not like solely only brides can wear it. I love this so much. Like it's definitely wearable if you're not a bride. I'm going to wrap this up here. My camera's literally flashing at me. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, anything that I've shown or talked about will be linked down below as per usual. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.